Hello and welcome to episode 13 of Stopping the Rock with Liverpool on Championship Manager 1997-1998. And last time out we took on Juventus, Barnsley and Arsenal and it feels like an age ago since I recorded because yeah I've ploughed through the episodes, I give myself a little bit of a break, got some editing done, um, done some other things, um, jumped back on the Xbox which has just overtaken my life for a few days and also just spent some time with the family, had the weekend, obviously, as I'm recording, just had Mother's Day, as this comes out, it's probably near a Father's Day, in all honesty. Um, today we've got, though, Man United, Bolton and Juventus. Um, I don't remember how those other Juventus, Barnsley games, Arsenal games got on, so I'll just a quick recap in a minute. Um, but in the meantime, if you are new around here, please smash a like, um, hit on that subscription button down below, and hit the like button as well while you're here. All that lovely stuff, but let's see what we've done since the last episode. I assume I've played through, I think I have, I have. So it looks like we've played a fair few games. I think we left a bit of a break, yeah. So we lost Juventus, Del Piero with the goal. I think we were a bit unlucky. In that. Oh no, we were battered. <laughs> that was it, we were battered. But then we returned the favour against Barnsley. Mark Lowen with two, McManaman with one. And then Arsenal, we sort of just managed to win 1-0. Probably deservedly just, just about with Patrick Berger scoring on the fifth minute. Uh, we then took on Wimbledon. Uh, we got a good 2-0 win there. Robbie Fowler with the goals. I can't remember why he's playing, but he is. Um... I assume someone was suspended or injured. Uh, we then beat Partizan Belgrade 4-2 to put us back in sort of good contention for the Champions League qualification. Uh, then a bit of a strange one. Uh, we, oh, sorry, with Wimbledon, we did actually rotate the team, if you noticed there. I don't know if you go, you can pause it if you want to. Um, we rotate the team, and then for Partizan, we kept the rotation. Um, they went down to 10 men. We did in the end because of t uh, an injury as well. Um, they scored basically from there. In fact, let's go look at that Belgrade game, in, in fact, because uh, they scored pretty much from their own two it says in my notes they scored from their own two attacks i'm guessing they were either all shots from that those two attacks or they just weren't all on the screen or weren't noticeable attacks but yeah we, we got the job done that was the main thing um tottenham for all again we kept the rotated team for this game which was i think because i i don't know why actually i think it was just to give a few of the guys players and that explains obviously why fowler was playing um, but we were 2-0 and 3-1 down um, before they went Spursy. We went 4-3 up and then we went a little bit Spursy with a late equaliser to make it 4-0. I think it was literally the 90th minute. 84th minute, Jürgen Klinsmann. All very late, a lot of late goals in this game. Sort of 50, well, 45 minutes onwards, there was a lot of value for money. If you were there in the first half, I mean, a lot of Liverpool fans may have left at half-time. Who knows what with free, being 3-1 down. Uh, Klinsmann and Clements get grabbing the goals at, at that point. But yeah, 4-0. Four, four with a rotated team isn't the worst, but yeah, the league's a little bit unsure at the moment. We kept the rotation anyway for the League Cup. Um, we weren't, we're not bothered about this competition. If we go a little bit further into it, great, but we're not going to be going all out. But Tony Cascarino, I don't even believe he's still playing. He certainly, I'm pretty sure, wasn't playing in 19, what are we, 1998 now? Yeah, just going into 1999. I'm pretty sure he wasn't still going at that point. I mean, his his pace is a generous eight there, but he's doing all right for West Ham. I assume we're in the champ in Division One. Uh, he's doing okay. Free transfer from not. I mean, he was at Nancy after Chelsea. I do remember that, but I thought that was a bit earlier. In all honesty, but anyway, yeah, Cascarino. We got the goals. Uh, Robbie Fowler, Sean Dundee. We did lose Makaleli to a red card. Um, it went to extra time. In actual fact, we won in extra time. Uh, pretty equal game in all fairness so extra time was the deciding factor 66 minutes we went down to 10 men but Fowler in extra time made it count uh, we then went up to Everton who about a week before a few days before sacked Howard Kendall so managerless Everton always a tricky situation um, but we get a 2-0 win Carl Heinz Riedler sort of semi-rotation in this game now we kind of went back to normal actually we kind of went back to normal because it was the Merseyside derby we went back to full strength even though they've just sacked their manager and they may be struggling a little bit we thought, you know what, let's not take them too for granted. Um, yeah, 2-0 win. And in this game week, also, Arsenal beat Man United. So, you know, we've had a few stuttering results in the league, a couple. They've lost as well, so that helps as well. Uh, and then Spartak Moscow finally in the Champions League. Robbie Fowler, Rui Costa, rotated team again, just so we could rest um, our players before today's game, which is obviously Man United. And I think I put the team right. I have, by the looks of it. I have. So anyway, let's just jump in. And that's the other thing with rotation, rotations as well. I'm trying to keep some of the players that are unhappy, happy. So um, every now and then, Red Nap will get unhappy. Dundee, I've, he's played a decent number of games. He's done quite well, actually, to be fair, um, when he's played. And yeah, he, we'll have a look at the league table after this game. But yeah, he, um, trying to get them happy. He's not losing his unhappiness, um, Dundee. He's 
very much thinking he should be the main man. But when you've got Carl Heinz Riedler banging in 40 odd goals a season, uh, and Michael Owen doing pretty much likewise at 18, yeah, it's a little bit hard to get him in the team. And so far, United are having chance after chance after chance. But so far, David James has kept them out. And if we can just keep that going for a little while and get ourselves into the game, we if we can get a chance and take it, that felt like it was going to be a goal in honesty. David James putting on a bit of a masterclass at the moment, which means no doubt he's going to score an own goal or something in a minute. But no, it looks like... Was that Jordi Cruyff? Teddy Sheringham. I thought I saw Jordi Cruyff's name. Maybe he was in the build-up. Paul Ince, what are we going to get? Is, is, our, is our sole takeaway from this game going to be an injury or something? So we get a chance. Patrick Berger testing Schmeichel, but they have got Desai. they got some amazing players in their team. Michael Owen, stroke a half-time, one all. I can't remember what the league table's like, but you know what? This is a game I take a draw off and hope that somewhere else, someone somewhere else can take something off United. Because at the moment, I, th I think we're good enough, but I think at the moment maybe we're just lacking a little bit of something. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, they've got Ronnie Johnson, Henningberg, Phil Neville. I mean, the defence is a little bit, apart from Desai, the defence isn't full strength, it seems. Roy Keane and McCall in there, Jordi Cruyff. How are they playing Jordi Cruyff? Are they played him in the middle. Cruyff in the... What is going on? Cruyff in the middle with Keane. And he's playing a seven. What the hell? Anyway, let's get a second half underway. Hopefully we can just keep ourselves in the game. I'll take a one-all draw in all honesty. Um, try and get ourselves back in the in the league contention you know, with other teams. And hopefully someone else can take a few points off United. I think we're just playing them at maybe the wrong time. We've had a few... I mean, we've had some rotated teams out. That Tottenham draw was a rotated team. So to say we're misfiring a little bit is a little bit harsh. But I don't think the, the strikers aren't hitting the numbers they were hitting last season. Um, if anything, Dundee and Fowler are actually probably scoring a bit better than them. So maybe they, they are the, the first choice two this season, potentially. Berger, Owen, oh, I thought we could snatch it then, maybe. If, we, if we're not going to win, then please just don't make us lose. <laughs> please just don't do it. David James again. He's got to be man of the match in this game. Surely to God. And it doesn't look right. So Patrick Berger's, I mean, there's only five minutes left. So Patrick Berger's come out for Costa. Uh, Stevie G's struggling as well. So we're going to bring in uh, Billy Mack, I think. Um, McAteer's struggling a little bit on the right. But I don't know if I want to bring Dyer into this game. I mean, Owen's struggling, but he scored the goal. But we'll bring in Robbie. See if he can do something against United later on. We've just made three subs, which means we're probably going to concede. But no, David James gets man of the match, one all. And I'd say that's probably a little bit of a lucky result. Um, they definitely had the, the first 25 minutes or so. They were bombarding us for uh, our goal. But let's just go and have a look at the league table, see what that draw... I don't think it will do anything for us. I mean, it's it might let someone else in the race. I think Arsenal are there or thereabouts. I don't think United were even second at the time. I might be wrong. I know they were at one point and they faded off a little bit. Not faded, no, they started off a bit slow. And I think Arsenal were creeping around. I think Tottenham were at one point. So for us to rotate and get a 4 all wasn't too bad. But good result. Okay, we'll still take that. So we are first. They're third. Who's second? Arsenal, yeah. So Arsenal are putting on a bit of a... Oh, so they're a point behind. Okay, so we're actually a little bit clear of United. We're four points clear of United. One point clear of Arsenal. We've beaten Arsenal, I think. We drew United. So that's pretty good going... Well, we're past the halfway. We're coming up to the halfway mark, aren't we? Uh, the next episode will be about the halfway mark because it'll be December. It's around Christmas, I think, is the halfway. But anyway, we're going to come back for... I can't remember who's next. Was it Juventus? I think it's Juventus. No, it's Bolton, then it's Juventus. So we're back for the Bolton game shortly. See you soon. Okay, here we are. We're back. That was a bit longer than usual. Again, we had another international break sort of crept in the middle there. Uh, Michael Owen's back in the under-21s. Uh, Robbie Fowler was on the bench for the first team, I think. So I didn't really pay too much attention to the results. Uh, a few things happened. So Bobby Robson became manager of Rayo Vallecano. I mean, sure. I mean, about not quite yet, I guess. But in a year or two, he'd be taking the, new, the Newcastle job. He wasn't Newcastle manager here. I think it was Rude Hullet or Dalgleish. I can't remember who replaced who. I think Hullet replaced Dalgleish. So it would have been about now, I guess. I think 98... I think Dalgleish was in charge in 98 when Arsenal beat Newcastle in the FA Cup final. I can't remember. Was it Dalgleish or Hullet? I don't remember. Let me know in the comments down below. I, my memory is atrocious. I mean, I was not I was more concerned about Arsenal. I wasn't too concerned about Newcastle, who was doing what back in those days. But I, I used to know all these sorts of things. But gradually, as, as you get older, your memory just kind of tends to take in some new stuff and just push some, some old things out. 
Um, to quote Homer Simpson last week, I, I think it was Homer Simpson, last week I learned, took that wine drinking course and forgot how to drive. <laughs> but anyway, we've got Bolton today and the, the quandary we've got is we're playing on Saturday and then we've also got Juventus on, I guess, the Tuesday, uh, the Wednesday, so it's not too bad. Uh, but it's whether we want to rotate for the Bolton game with that game in mind. I don't think we can risk it with them being 10th and we can't really take our eye, you know, eye off the ball in the league. I think we've just got to maybe mid muddle through and then try and rest at a different game, I think. Bear me one moment. Sorry about that. Completely forgot that was happening today. We've just had our courtesy car dropped off. Um, someone, inconsiderate arsehole, uh, just before we went on holiday a couple of weeks ago, managed to drive into our car and drive off, um, which was a little bit rude. Uh, but luckily they did it in front of a traffic warden. So, yeah, we've got all the insurance going through. We've got the car coming through today. Got a lovely little Ford. Not as nice as our car. Not gloating, obviously, but it's, it's you know, it is what it is. It's not as nice, but you never get a, as nice a car with your with your insurance, you've heard do you? So, uh, anyway, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. It's new enough. It's nice enough. Um, so, what we got, one point ahead, that's what we're looking at. So, we're going to jump into the Bolton game. But, yeah, we reported that to the police because, obviously, we, they, they drove off. It's a technically illegal offence. I thought, don't be driving and smashing into my car. You know, it's, it's, my daughter's got a disability as well, so it's actually the car that we need to get her about and stuff like that. So to drive off, there's stickers on it that say, you know, this, you know, this is a, you know, blue badge car, this sort of stuff, and they still drove off. So I'm, I'm not going to feel guilty about reporting them. If they'd have come and stopped and tried to find out what happened, but no, they just drove off. But the police don't give a shit. They don't want to know. Got an email back saying we're not proceeding it, even though they got a traffic warden as a witness. They've got all the le all the reg, all the colour, everything. It all matched up. I'm not going to bother proceeding. So why make it a criminal offence if you're never actually going to deal with something that's dropped on your plate? No doubt, I'll, if I go out next week and scrape someone drive off, no doubt I'll be in court in a month. But anyway, anyway <laughs> I'm not going to play that victim mentality card too much. We've gone one nil up. Michael Owen, 27 minutes. Back back to the bottom game. Back on the touch lines. Back in the game. Come on, come on, Kyoto. But here we are, Riedler. He's really not firing this season. I've, I've, I'm really noticing his, his goals are not anywhere near what they were last season, and not even, not anywhere there. I don't think he's barely even scored. He's got what five in thirteen. He's not doing. He's not doing. He's not pulling his weight this season, compared to what he did last season. I don't know if some of his attributes have dropped a little bit because of his age. Maybe this year, we might have to actually think about popping someone in. And at the moment, it's. Fowler or Dundee, and I think Dundee's actually the one that's... No, Fowler scored a, a couple of hatching stuff. We might have to go with the old Fowler-Owen partnership up front, and it's not a terrible thing to say, because that's a pretty decent lot of forward line, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, I think we might have to go for it, especially in Europe, because I just noticed there he had a 6.6 .6 reader for Europe. And I don't know, he's played a few games, so he's probably maybe not played, you know, partisan. He, he definitely played the Juventus game. And he was woeful. We were woeful, in all honesty. But, you know, if, if, if from the front we're, we're woeful, then it's not going to help. And I don't know who that Greek guy is that Bolton have got in goal. Who did they have in 98? I think it was like Brannigan or someone still. It wasn't Yussi yet, was it? It wasn't Yuskalainen just yet. Um, so I don't know who Costas Zirupa is, but of course he gets the man of the match. But we got the win. We get the goal. That's all that matters. Eights all round apart from Emmanuel Heinzer, Riedler and Owen. So... Oh, Saucy Dad beating Real Madrid. Okay, so how how did our rivals get on? So Man United won. Arsenal drew. That's good. Keeps them a bit at bay. Obviously, it means they're not gonna close, keep ahead of United and keep you know someone more ahead of United would would be good. Sunderland just come up or recently come up and they're flying as well. But we saw that with Barnsley, and they did just sort of peter out a little bit. But I think we're gonna make that change now. Riedler for Owen and uh, for Fowler, and we're gonna put Dundee on the bench. I think it's got to be done. So anyway, we'll be back in a moment for that um, Juventus game. See you shortly. Okay, here we are. We're actually in Turin. I thought we had the... I actually had it in my mind that we had the home game today. So it's a little bit annoying that we actually lost the home game. But now I think about it, I do remember it being the home game because it was like we've now got to go to Turin and try and pull something out of our arse, which doesn't seem likely. I mean, it was a close game. It felt a little bit the first one. The shots obviously didn't line it so much. But we were woeful. But they, they weren't amazing. So if we can have a good game and do what we can do. There's no reason we can't go and win here. Our defence needs to be on top as well. But they only beat us 1-0 at our ground. Our defence held out pretty much. It was just that one chance, but we just weren't creating anything. We have created in this game, but we have let a few chances go as well. But James is 
playing a bit like a man possessed at the moment. Played well against United, got man of the match. Oh, God's sake. We need to win this, really, if we've got any chance of get, you know topping the group, which is getting slimmer and slimmer. We need to just hope that our points tally is enough for us to go second in the group, really. Um, it was harsh in those days where only so, so many second-place teams got through. I'm sure that's what happens in this game. I'm sure I've been bitten by it a few times, not realising when I've come back to the game and stuff. Where you know you're not quite ready to have a full on assault. Zidane's off, head butted Honcho. Oh, foul love, come on boy. Burger's gonna get a yellow card. Can we do something now? They're down to ten minutes. It's not that. It's not a position that's made them have to make subs or anything like that. I don't think it's not like a, a defensive, you know, position. Owen's gonna come off for Dundee, I think. Uh, Rui Costa's going to come on for McManaman, who's having a bit of a stinker. I mean, they're all having a bit of a stinker, to be honest. And Billy Mack's going to come on for Steven Gerrard, who's having a stinker. Can this ignite us a little bit? Can this get us going? If anything, it looks like they're going to get another goal before we score one, which is not not ideal. <laughs> they're starting to have actually have a good few number of chances again. It's... Come on, boys. Rui Costa, can you magic something up? I mean, even a draw wouldn't be the worst, but it wouldn't really change anything. It would give us an extra point in the in the pursuit of our points tally for finishing second, I guess. Oh, Berger, you've got to be scoring those, boy. Oh, my God. So we've gone from a game against Barton where practically everyone had an eight to a game where practically everyone's got a six, apart from David James, who gets a man of match performance. That is very disappointing, especially considering they went down to 10 men just after half time. Let's have a look what that does to the group stages. I think we've got two games left to play. Um, I think we've got two games left to play. No, one game left to play. How are we looking on the points total? Let's, let's assume that we're probably going to get three points against Spartak Moscow, which looks likely. You can never guarantee it, but it looks likely. That puts us on 12, right? So even their top place is not even on 12 yet. Uh, okay, Rangers are looking good for it. Our goal difference is better, I think. Obviously, it depends on their last game. If they've got Ajax last game and Ajax beat them, they have. And if Ajax beat them, then that'd be good. Oh, there's a 13 there. Um, and it could be more. A potential 12 United. 12 there. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We need to spank Spartak Moscow. And we need to hope that things go our way elsewhere. Or we just hope that <laughs> all the second places get through, which I don't think is a thing. I don't think it's a thing. So Biscord now unhappy, being left outside. Redknapp wants first team football. Leon Hardson obviously we picked up. We, I, I forgot to mention it at the start of the episode. He picked up an injury. Or between one of the games, I think before the international break, he picked up an injury. But he's only out for a little while. So if a bid does come in, hopefully the injury won't delay it too long. Um, is he still unhappy? His price is too high. He's not. Because it's dropped. It's down to, <laughs> he's gone down to 2.1. Uh, where are we going to come back? Uh, so we're going to come back in December. I think we're going to come back for Partizan because it's a big game. Uh, we need to know our fate. We'll know our fate after that game and then we'll play Blackburn and Newcastle and if we're through, we'll know our draw. I think that's a good one. And then obviously come to January, we've got a few big games sort of cropping up again as well. Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll come back for the Partizan game onwards. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up now. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please smash that like button down below. And uh, if you're enjoying the sub, the channel in general, please sub down below as well. Hit the sub button, the big red button down below. Uh, any comments as well, always welcome, always gratefully received. So, yeah, until next time for that partisan Champions League decider, I guess. Um, I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.